So you're ready for coal, but you're feeling a little lost. Well, don't worry, my little Viking crew, because here in the Longhouse, we're all about that education. Stay tuned for problem, solution, and build. Four easy steps to build a efficient and cool coal plant. See what I did there? Welcome to the Longhouse, I'm Runestone Gaming, and for this episode we're talking about coal generators. And in order to understand the problem, solution, and build today, we need to understand a little bit about how coal plants work. Each coal plant takes 45 water per minute to run, which will require a pipe. Additionally, each coal plant will take 15 coal per minute per plant to acquire a belt. Finally. 100% efficiency on each coal plant will deliver 75 megawatts. Let's begin by talking about the problem. Well, with coal generators, I often see confusion around what's the best way to set this up. Now I've got some people who think that the best way to set this up is to maximize the coal. I've got some people who think the best way to set this up is to maximize the water. So in our case, because of episode one, how we're using five extractors, two pipes, I think that the problem for us might lie in how many coal generators would I line up in a row to match that 300 pipe? Well, I have the solution for you here. So for the solution that we've come up here at the Longhouse, uses the same system that we've developed in episode one. We're running five extractors, two pipes, resulting in 300 per pipe. With 300 water in each pipe and each coal generator taking 45 water per coal generator, it results in approximately 6.66 coal generators. So we will create seven coal generators and tune the seventh coal generator down to 66%. Seven coal plants with the seventh coal plant running at approximately 66% takes up just about 100 coal. So by running two lines of 120 coal side by side, feeding both series of the plants, you will have successfully delivered the coal. Now, one caveat to this whole process is to remember that there's many solutions to the problem. I base this problem and solution off of our original design of five extractors, two pipes. You very well might base your design off of a 120 coal line. Maybe you're basing your design off of 240 water. Well, this is what we've come up with the longhouse. So with that being said, let's head to the build. First step of the build is to ensure that you have your five extractors, two pipes set up. Remember, I already covered this in episode one. And on over there if you need to catch up on that. Once you have your five extractors, two pipes set up, you're ready for step two. Step two of the build requires running two MK2 belts from any coal nodes on the map. Also, make sure that your coal miners are running at 120 per node. This can be done with a Mach 1 miner, our shard slugging. Ensure that both miners are set to 120 and that you have run Mach 2 belt to a central location near where you plan to build your coal generators. For the third step of the build, you're going to want to begin by building foundation five walls up from the original center foundation that you laid for your five extractors, two pipes. After bringing your foundation five high, You'll then lay a foundation next to your five hall wa high wall so you can then begin your nine by 11 grid. The grid on top of the water extractors needs to be nine by 11 to fit all 14 coal generators and their appropriate logistics, piping and conveyor belts. After laying your foundation down, you're ready to begin the logistics. You can begin by laying the coal generators. Now be careful as you lay the coal generators. You begin by placing the first coal generator next to the line, not on the line, as you can see, but one back. One more thing to note is that this coal generator is in between two tiles. Now, traditionally, people just lay their coal generators back to back to back, but I find that a little bit too chaotic. It doesn't necessarily match belt walls. So we will place the generator here, one little tip back in the middle of the tile. The next generator will be placed on the tile, same distance from the middle. We'll continue this, pattern until you reach seven coal generators. After you laid the coal gens, you're ready to lay the splitters. The splitters will be placed down this middle lane. Remember, we'll be running two lines of coal down this center. 
To begin, you'll grab the splitter. You'll make sure that the entrances and exits are lined up with the coal generator and the source of where you're going to get the coal from. We're going to pull coal from this side, so I'm going to make sure the arrow is taking in from that side. We'll place a splitter here, place one more splitter, and one more splitter. It will be three splitters high. We'll delete the first two, and we're on to the next. Now for this splitter, it's going to be in the next coal gen. We'll lay a splitter, a splitter, a splitter. Now for these, the direction doesn't matter. Top one, it does. We'll delete the bottom three. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way down, ensuring that your entrances and exits are all lined up. After you lay the splitters, you're ready to lay the belts. Begin by grabbing your Mach 2 belt, which is what you should have at this point. You're going to begin by dragging from one splitter to the next. After you have belted between your splitters, you're now ready for the conveyor lifts. Conveyor lifts work as so. We'll grab the lift. It is a Mach 1 lift for this part because the cold gens, remember, are only taking 15 coal per minute. So a Mach 1 lift here is perfectly okay. You won't lift from the splitter yourself, but you will lift from the machine. By placing it onto the machine and turning it, you should hear a click. We'll place that first one. Then you'll place the next. And you'll continue down the row, ensuring that you're hearing the click each and every time. So you've placed your lifts and you've placed your splitters. Now it's time to bring the coal up. Again, by dragging a conveyor pole all the way over to the here. This will be the edge. On this edge, this top line will be brought over. Halfway down the tile, we'll do the middle two conveyor poles. So we've got three lined up on the edge and two in the middle of the tile. Grab your Mach 2 belt, make sure you stretch it from here all the way over and from here all the way over. You're going to then delete this foundation and then we'll grab that Mach 2 belt, connect it to the edge and bring it on down. Connect it to the edge and bring it on down. You'll grab the other Mach 2 belts and you'll connect them. How you connect these is up to you. There's plenty of creative ways and things that we could do to make these connections look nice. But that'll do for now. You're bringing both of your 120 Mach 2 belts into the appropriate entrances. You can then delete the conveyor poles as those were only supports to help us out to get the elevators staggered properly. The belts are ran and you're ready to run your pipes. Begin by killing the elbow junction that we've made before in the five extractor two pipe video. You're gonna to wanna to line up a pipe support next to either the cross or another pipe support side by side. You'll match this on floor with the top floor. These two pipe supports need to be moved. They're not on the edge. You're gonna want these pipe supports on the edge because we're gonna make create a vertical pipe look nice and neat with some pumps. Go ahead and lay those supports and then lay a vertical pipe. Remember, you can change your pipe pipe by pressing R. Obviously, we have distance here and we need to pump the water up. If we place pipes on the indicator, that will give us more than enough pipe di pump distance. Make sure your pumps are lined up and place them on the indicator. After reaching up top, you're ready to lay your pipe across. Distance between pipes is six tiles. Lay your pipes all the way across as so. You've laid your baseline pipe, put your pumps, conveyor belts are running. Now, ready for the final step here. That is putting the crosses on, on the baseline pipes and connecting those. Super simple process. Lay the cross, lay the pipe. You'll continue this down. Well, you've done it. You've laid your cross sections, you've laid your belts, you've laid your pipes, you've laid your pumps. You did your five extractor two pipes and you did your nine by 11 foundation. You've laid your cold gens, making sure that they are split between two tiles and the next one on the tile. You could power it however you want. I'll let you guys decide on how to power it. And in an upcoming video, I'll go over how to power buildings. However, this will all have to do for now. Here's an aerial of what it should look like from above. This is what it look, should look like from the side. Now feel free to fancy this building up all you want. 
add foundations, add walls, do whatever you want. I've given you enough room that you can do both and get creative. And remember, I want to see what you guys come up with. So take a photo of what you're working on in your world and put it up on the Discord or put a link here in the YouTube. I want to hear from you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed the free cold tips. No need to send me in-game gold. No need to send me an in-game message. I do this all for you because I love to educate. Speaking of education, I stream on Twitch from 8 to 4 p.m. MST Tuesday through Friday. I hope to maybe see you there where we talk about this build and many of our other builds. Curious about the shirt? I know. It's awesome, right? Well, click the link down below in the description to buy your own Fix It swag. Thank you, Coffee Stain, for everything that you do. I look forward to the fluids and update four. Stay safe, everyone. Cheers. And I'll see you all next time for episode three in the Longhouse.